As the fall sports season is coming to an end, I decided to interview some of the varsity head coaches, such as Coach Kern, varsity football coach, Coach Olaf, varsity girls soccer coach, Coach Turton, varsity boys soccer coach, and Coach Carl, cross country coach, to see what they had to say about their season. Girls varsity soccer finished 10-1-1 uh, one and one in league play. Uh, we started off the season uh, you know, with a loss, however, we went on a tear towards the end there and won every other game and eventually tied uh, Springville, who we lost to earlier in the season. Girls finished uh, with two sectional wins and a tough loss against Olean, who eventually won the section championship. Uh, favorite memory from the season? Uh, Probably our, our overtime win against Tonawanda. We were down 2 nothing with about uh, five minutes to go. And we hit one goal, and momentum swung in our favor, and we hit another goal with two minutes to play. And then uh, coming down from behind and, and scoring that third goal in the second overtime uh, really got our season off to uh, the, you know, the season that it became. A brief highlight of how my season went this year, 2018, Cross country. I am currently. My name is Coach Carl. I coach the boys and girls cross country here at Alden High. Um, my season went great this year. Boys undefeated. They won their ninth straight uh, division championship. Very proud of my boys. Young crowd. Um, we persevered and overcame and uh, put up another uh, championship on the board. My girls did the amazing this week at ECICs. They uh, upset Springville and they were actually to capture uh, co-champions of the division. So this is their second straight division championship in a row. Um, the girls pulled off the miracle run this weekend in the mud and the rain up at East Aurora, and I'm proud of each and every one of them. They did a great job. Favorite memory this year, this past weekend, we were at uh, East Aurora for ECIC championships. Bobby Adams ran like a man. Um, fourth overall in large and small schools and it was able to give the boys their division championship that we were looking for. The girls this year, I can't tell you, one of the happiest things I saw was them to overcome adversity and beat Springville at East Aurora, um, and we were lacking one of our top five runners. It was amazing. I don't know how they did it. They pulled together, they ran great, and they wrapped up another division title for Alden. So this season, I think we had a really good season. We finished with an overall record of 10, six, and one. Um, we started out the season a little bit slow, but also against really tough competition. Um, competition that was ranked highly in the state. And um, while I think we could have beat them, we, we didn't early on. Um, then we went into the middle of the season. We started winning some more. We ended up with a six game winning streak at the end of the season, which, which felt great. Um, and then at the end of the season, we, uh, we lost in sectionals to Newfane three to one. Disappointing, but overall it was a really good season. Night game, senior night at home, on the football field, under the lights, against Eden, a division rival. Uh, we ended up um, having a 2-2 tie at re after regulation, and um, maybe about a minute into overtime, um, there was a, a, a great cross from Ashton, a corner kick, and um, Austin Avino just came in and powered his way through and um, somehow found a way to get the ball in the net and you know everyone celebrated we had a, tons of fans here supporting us and it was a really great way to cap off um, a senior night for the boys. Well I think that you know we knew going into this that we were a very young team this year um, certainly in the rebuilding phase uh, of our football program um, with that being said, we knew early on as a coaching staff that we wanted to play as many games as we possibly could. So we signed up to play 10 um, or decided that we would play 10 right off the bat for sure. Um, I think the highlight, of course, was, you know, the immediate gratification of winning the 10th game um, uh, so that we could send our seniors off uh, with a win and use that to propel our off-season football program uh, and our training for sure. So I'd say the highlight was... Uh, was everything coming together uh, against Springville in week 10 for us. First of all, I, I'm just proud of Zach O'Shai who broke the single season tackles record. Um, he was a competitor all year long, um, really just fought to track, uh, fought to finish all year long um, for us. He 
Uh, ends up, he ended up as number one all-time uh, in tackles as well with 199 uh, career tackles. So that's certainly a highlight. Um, the way Colin Skronsky ran the football the last two weeks, I mean, in two weeks, in two games, he rushed for 565 yards and scored eight touchdowns, um, almost half of his season total, just like that. So I was really happy with, uh, with the way we, we went out together as a team. And, you know, uh, it, it's different. Every group, the light switch goes on at a different time. And, and for us this year, it happened a little later, but uh, that's better than not having happened at all, for sure. So I think that was, uh, those are some of the highlights that I'll take away with it. Congratulations to all the athletes and coaches that participated in sports this fall season. This is Alex Zepka reporting for Wax News.